This is Party Central. This is where it's all going down. This is where I'm storing all the party stuff. I still have quite a bit to do for party preparations. I don't want to leave things till the last minute, so I'll see how I'm feeling energy-wise later. I still have to clean the party space, and I want to set it up so that it's ready to get decorated tomorrow. And I was supposed to fill up the goodie bags, but um, I don't have anywhere to store the goodie bags if I fill them all up. I don't want to like take up my dining table, so I might leave this to the last minute. But I did some DIY decorations, and I actually um, made a game, a couple games. So I have the games ready. This is just an old poster board that my son used for science. And it's going to be used for like one of those little ring toss things. So I got those. And then I picked up some cowboy hats. Because they were super inexpensive. And I thought they went perfectly with the theme. The blue hat with the star. I think for $6 it's worth it. So that's another goodie bag item. So I'm super excited about that. And I have my timeline. This is what I have to get done today. So I have to clean the party space, set up the party space. I was going to prep the trail mix bags, but I think I might wait until tomorrow to do that. And I'm still undecided about what I want for the menu. So I didn't get to the supermarket today. I was supposed to go to Walmart today and pick up all the party food, but it just didn't happen. So... I will be going tomorrow after I drop the kids off at art class. But over here, um, I got some popcorn to add as like a snack for the kids and some skewers. And I picked up another package of these, this 25 plates, 25 cups, and the 25 napkins. And I just got a red one this time. And then these are some of the birthday gifts from my toddler i'm so excited so i will do a separate video on what he got for his birthday like what we got him and then what he actually got as gifts from any of the guests who come to the party that will be in a separate video to kind of give ideas on what to get a three-year-old so stay tuned for that so yeah that is that hi guys so you saw all the things that i have and um, all the party prep that I'm doing. I decided to go ahead and make this a birthday vlog instead of just doing what I normally would do which was kind of like film the day of the party and show the decorations and the food set, set up and everything. I'm going to actually do a whole vlog and I'm going to show the preparations and the things that I'm doing um, in preparation for the party what I have to do the day before and what I do a couple hours before and then show the actual party and the um, decorations and everything come together and then put all of that in one video so I think that's something kind of neat that I wanted to do since I have been learning how to edit and I have been doing vlogs and things like that I thought this would be something different and something fun so you can kind of see how I prepare for a birthday party the things that I do how I get ready how I set up and decorate and things like that and then show you everything once it's all put together so you can get an idea of all my DIY stuff how I set up the area and everything like that okay so this is our party space this is where we usually have all our birthday parties and any other big events or large gatherings because it is a pretty decent sized space and it's divided up into like three sections so up here would be the main area and this is where we usually set up for um, people to come and sit and eat and where we play the game for the kids and things like that uh, we have this couch here I usually always set up the main table right here, but I think I'm going to do something different this time. So I always have a main table right here, and this couch is always over there. And then one of these tables is usually my main table. And then we have one table where we seat people, and then we have these banquettes, like stone banquettes. And we have all those cushions that my mother-in-law actually made to go on those stone banquettes so that we have enough seating for everyone. We also have a bunch of chairs. 
as well. And then, because I gotta like tidy it up a little bit, we have these two little tables, I guess, right here. You gotta clean it off. Um, this is where I usually keep like the goodie bags and the favors and stuff like that. So favors will go on this table. I'll clean it off. And then this will be the gifts table. So this is where we'll put all his gifts. And then we come down here. This is the second portion of the party space. Again, it needs to be cleaned. Area, this is where we set up the food that we need to serve. The um, plates, cups, things like that. So this has to be cleaned and disinfected really, 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 really well. And then we also have like a little barbecue area over here. You can't see that. So that's like a, a cold grill and then a sink so we can wash things and whatnot. Wood for the grill, a trash can, and then right in here is the bathroom. I'm going to have to clean out the bathroom and have it ready for guests. And then we have this other section. This is the third section. So this section, my mother-in-law recently finished, I think last year or maybe the year before. This is where we used to have our like above ground pool. And so we do have, she did have a shower set up out here, but um, she finished this off. This is just concrete. It's not tiled like the first main area. And so up here is where we kind of set up like another area if we have like an abundance of people. We have a table right here. I think I'm going to use that as my main snack table. I think we have a chalkboard and then up here we have some place to put the pinata. So this is in the backyard. This is my backyard. My backyard is pretty tropical. It's filled with a lot of trees and birds and fruit trees and things like that. And then in the middle of it almost is this, we call it the rancho. So this is our party space. So I'm going to get to tidying up, um, cleaning up, seeing what I can get done today. And, and then um, tomorrow I will be doing the majority of my... Um, tidying up and then I'll decorate. So this is what it looks like. I just wanted to give you guys a little tour. I picked up all the party food supplies that I'm going to need for tomorrow's party. I decided to go with burgers. Um, I think the kids are going to like a hamburger or, or a cheeseburger a lot better than fried chicken. And even though I'm going to still have to like make this and it's a little bit more work than just ordering chicken, I think I might just do fried chicken for my other son's party next month um, because by that time I'll be so done <laughs> with parties. But I ordered some of these ready-made um, burger patties. They come six in a pack, so I got enough for 30 kids. And I also ordered some french fries to go along with it. These are the McCain Super Wedges. I can actually bake these in the oven, so I just got three bags of those. And um, I picked up the frosting for the cupcakes. I'm going to do the rainbow cupcake, and I might do this German chocolate cake mix as like a cake cake. And then this frosting mix, it comes with the topping. So I think I'm going to use the topping for the cake, and I'm going to use the um, star rainbow sprinkles I have for the cupcakes. And then I'm going to make coleslaw. So I picked up three bags of the already shredded coleslaw mix. So all I have to do is add my mayonnaise. And I put a little sugar in mine and some corn. So I will have that. And then my mother-in-law has come to the rescue. She's going to make rice with chicken, Spanish-style rice with chicken for the adults. So I don't have to worry about that. So I ended up saving a ton of money. I got the marshmallows and the graham crackers because I'm going to make um, the marshmallows dipped in chocolate and then cover them with the graham crackers. I got a whole bunch of snacks. So I got the Tostitos original restaurant style tortilla chips. And to go with that, I got the medium cheese salsa. I also got some Chex Mix. I had this on my list of snacks that I wanted to get, and I took it off because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get this. And I found it already made, so I'm so excited. So it has, like, peanuts and pretzels and chocolates in it, so I think the kids will like that, something different. 
Picked up two cans of pretzels. They were really cheap. Um, they were $2 for the cans. I picked up two of those. I picked up a bag of these cheese puffs. Again, I think the kids are going to like this. Burger buns for the burgers. And then this is just the stuff that I already had and then my toddler's leftover breakfast. But this is just some popcorn, more snacks, and then the skewers for the, um, the marshmallows. an event at the kids school today they were celebrating like family day so it was a family day celebration but we didn't stay long because I have a ton of stuff I have to do but I did put all the goodie bags together and then inside the goodie bags I also have one of these little trail mix packets so I think that's super cute I have to I want to blow up the balloons tonight so that I can just decorate uh, tomorrow I also made the coleslaw for the salad and I made these little marshmallow pot sticks with the white chocolate and the graham crackers. So those are done and I'm just going to put these in the fridge so they can set up for tomorrow. And right now I'm actually going to bake the cupcakes. So that's what I'm up to for party prep for tomorrow. Alright, so I'm about to wrap up all my toddler's gifts for his birthday while I have the second batch of cupcakes in the oven so that gives me a little bit of time um, we didn't get him a ton of stuff this year uh, mainly because he has so much stuff already and also because it's just it's kind of pointless to um, like spend a ton of money and get him a bunch of stuff that he's probably not gonna play with so a lot of this stuff I know he will play with some of this stuff I got a long time ago like these two gifts I got last year before Christmas um, this I got I don't know when a couple months ago I even forgot that I'd gotten it so I'm gonna wrap up his stuff and then that right here this big brown box is his main gift which is a real tricycle with like a bicycle with training wheels so I'm super excited about that my husband's gonna build that hopefully tonight so that we can have that for him ready tomorrow and this is gonna be the gift he's getting tomorrow that's his main gift from us and then some of these gifts I'm gonna wrap up he's actually not gonna get them tomorrow at his party he's gonna get some of these on his actual birthday which won't be until Monday the 29th so I wanted to get these wrapped up and this is the wrapping paper that I bought. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but we'll see. This is just the Sheriff Woody wrapping paper. He loves Toy Story. He is in love with Woody. And because we're doing a cowboy theme, I thought this wrapping paper would be perfect. And it has the cowboy sheriff star. And it's just really, really nice. And then um, this was the baseball batting set I got him. I picked up these Mickey Mouse Clubhouse fork and spoon set the other day. He loves Mickey Mouse. I got him a doctor set. I think he'll enjoy that. He's been really enjoying and getting into Legos a lot. So I got him these Legos that are not really Legos. Just to see how he does before I actually invest money in Legos for him. So I know he's going to enjoy that. And I've been wanting to get him some Color Wonder stuff. So I got him this really small packet to see how he does with that. So I got that. And then I also picked up uh, this like kitchen set. It's the pan with a couple of plastic food. He actually picked this one out because I had two options for him. I wanted to get him the cutting food. Um, the one where the food kind of velcros together and you use a knife, a knife to cut it. That's just a little mini haul. I will do a separate video on what he gets for his actual party. Like all the gifts he'll get if he gets, you know, gifts. Um, I'll do a separate video just to give you guys ideas on gifts for a three-year-old. Okay, so I'm done wrapping his gifts. These are all his presents all wrapped up in his woody paper. And then 
this one I put in a dinosaur gift bag. But that is everything ready for his birthday. And then I also blew up all the balloons. These are all the balloons I have, and I just have them on this one long ribbon. <laughs> I just have them on this one long ribbon. So I'm going to make like a banner with the balloons. So I'll see how I have to work that out tomorrow, but that's all done. And then I finished baking all the cupcakes. Yay! So cupcakes are all done so I'm going to call it a night it's 10 30 right now and I'm going to go to bed in a little bit looks like I'm done decorating I got up at 5 30 it's now 7 40 so I set up and decorated this morning so this is what it's all looking like I've got some balloons up here. This is the balloons that I put on this long ribbon. I think it looks really cute. So, and then I got some of these like poof balls yesterday because the colors went perfectly with the theme. And then I have some more over there. And then I have some decorations up here. And then this is what the tables are looking like. So I just have a centerpiece on each table. Got all the goodie bags set up. And my kids love these goodie bags. They're so excited. So, so excited. My daughter's like, everyone's going to want one. So that's good. We got the other centerpiece right here. And then over here, I just set up some games, the stick for the pinata. And if I need anything fixed right before the party, I have my tape and my push pins right there. I have this game right here. So the kids are going to have to throw a ball and try to get it in the hole. And obviously if they do, they'll get a prize. i got to go get the prizes. That's right. And then up here, we have some more streamers and some balloons. I just kept it simple because people, they're not here for the decor. I know they appreciate it, but I didn't want to go all out and spend a ton of money. And then, of course, the cleanup. I was thinking about that too, so... I kept it really simple, but I think it looks really nice. Have the pinata set up. It's super heavy. And then over here on the chalkboard, I have my wanted sign and my fans. So I think people are going to appreciate that. And then this is going to be the main table where we have all the snacks for the kids and the cupcakes. And then I just have that wanted little foam board that I painted. I wanted to use it like a photo backdrop, not photo backdrop, but like a photo booth type thing where people put their face in it. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have my craft paper on top to kind of set the tone. And that is it. I am about to go and get the kids breakfast, whoever's awake, get myself ready, like take a shower and then start prepping the food.